Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over a game called Heike. Heike was developed by Richard Hornig, it was published by Application Systems Heidelberg and it was released onto the PC on June 2nd, 2021 with the MSRP of $9.99. Alright, why don't we get into it? This is basically a pretty challenging 2D platformer. Uh, it kind of brings to mind a little bit of Super Meat Boy. Now, when we play it, I'm not gonna start this level because uh, it's hard and I rage quit. <laughs> uh, that's high praise for a game. So, I, I played a lot of games, many different types of games, and I spent a lot of my life playing games. So, when I see a new game, you know, unless it's a genre I never tried before. If it's something I played before, I I can get a grasp of it fairly quickly. I'm not gonna be very good at it. I'm gonna be, I'm going to be very mediocre at it. I can adapt to it relatively quickly. Uh, but this game, you know, uh, maybe I'm getting old, but it, it was difficult. It's pretty easy in the early level, so why don't we give it a go? Let's start from the first one. Some cute uh, 2D animations. Some of it look pretty good, and the uh, some of the others look a little a little too janky. It's one guy who made everything, and then I think he had the music outsourced to someone else. So you know, pretty okay for a one-man project. That said, I don't give uh, like a bonus point or hand handicap based on the number of people that develop it, pretty much. It's kind of unfair, but like, you have to think of it from the side of the consumer, so like, the person playing it isn't gonna care if it was made by one person or not, you know? If, if they don't find it enjoyable, it doesn't matter how many people worked on it. Like a little story here too. Doesn't really make sense, but you don't need it to. Look how he pulls a sword out of his pocket. Yo, that finger looks nasty. <laughs> Why is it so much bigger? Okay, so here we go. DNA to move. Spacebar to jump. And then you can wall jump. Sixty nine, nice. I'm uh, getting faster times than I did previously. Slightly slower, that's fine. Now there is going to be a color mechanic. And that is why the game is kind of difficult. I 
I, so you're like, this game looks easy peasy. Why did you rage quit? Maybe you're bad. You know what? That's entirely possible. But, uh... Let me just show you guys some of these later levels. Oh, I uh, totally missed that. <laughs> I'm a boomer. New best time. I I like the music. But it does get a little bit grating when you have to listen to it over and over again. So I, uh, I, I turned it off when I normally play. But I left it on for you guys so you can listen to it. Okay. So as you can tell, I am using keyboard with this. And the controls are, are pretty good for the most part. There are some parts though where I feel like I am jumping a little bit further than I want. it right now. Faster times than my first attempts. Which makes sense. Okay. I jinxed it. Oh! oh. <laughs> no. Why? Why have you done this? This part didn't make sense. This finds like a hut. And see young Finn. And he's like, do some drugs. This is where you unlock the, your color powers. <laughs> it like shoves it in. Okay, here we go. So now you can press Q and E to change the color of the level and depending on what you change, you know, you got three blocks, they're going to take turns disappearing. Uh, it does get a little bit hectic because then you have to remember that you can go forward and backwards. So there are some really hard jumps where you have to time that. So you're like, oh, it's still easy. Oh, you guys haven't seen some of these levels. God dang pain. Okay. So 
So they kind of ease you in, alright? They ease you in and then... <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, it's too easy. Too easy. Oh, no! <laughs> I cycled the wrong way. Alright. Okay. Okay. Yeah, alright. I don't think I... Do I even need that? Okay. So you can kind of start to see here uh, some of the jumps that they're gonna give you. And I'm like, screw this game, man. <laughs> it's a little... It's a little rough. Oh, God dang it. All right. If you guys like hard games, or if you like Super Meat Boy, you're probably gonna enjoy this. Although, I think Super Meat Boy is probably like the pinnacle of difficult, pixel perfect uh, platforming. Ouch. Now I'm starting to tilt. You know when like you've been practicing a game for a very long time and then you start getting worse because you've been playing it for so long? That's what happens to me every once in a while. This is gonna be a little bit... Yeah, you have to jump and then switch. Okay. <laughs> Darn! Oh my god. Alright. I was doing the fall and then jump as you're falling, but... i become tilted now. I didn't even change in time. I'm gonna try a two-handed approach, that's way too difficult. Finally got it. Yeah, some of these levels I'm just like trying hard on, trying not to blow like my <laughs> my temper. Okay, god dang this one. Ah, okay. This one's not as bad. Honestly speaking. I don't know why they have a block there, but do you, is there like a secret? Are there secrets with this game? I'm assuming there are, because there's some like crazy jumps you can make to get to places. And I'm like, there's nothing there. Okay. No. <laughs> Please. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh my god.
All right. We're doing it. I'm probably going to quit on the level that I got stuck on. But I'll give it my best shot, you know. Oh, what the? <laughs> but yeah, I am I'm thoroughly impressed with the level design. Um, the controls feel pretty good too, so... Oh my god. Richard Horn Hornig, you did a fantastic job, my dude. Recently, I was trying to, you know... Make my own game, and you know what? It's uh, pretty darn difficult making a game. I see a... I mean, I do this too, I'm guilty of it as well, but sometimes when you see a game you don't like, you start talking trash about it. I like breaking it down. Sometimes, you know, I speak too soon, and the game gets better the more I play it. But like... There are like some ridiculous things people complain about, where I'm just like, uh, that's just preference. It's not bad game design or anything, you just don't like the game. And that's perfectly fine too, but I wish people wouldn't talk about games as if they're e like easy to make. It's actually not. I remember when Cyberpunk 2077 first came out and they're like, wow, they didn't even play the game. That's the thing that kind of made me the most upset about these complainers. But uh, yeah, it's like they're complaining about these things and acting as if it was like left out on purpose for some reason. Like, no, that whatever you're asking for is really impossible to make. Now, did CD Projekt Red over promise? Oh, they certainly did. <laughs> were trailers misleading to a certain extent? Oh, they were. But most of the game, most of the promises they made, you know, it was there. It's a fully functional game. Is it the- this is- I think this is the one I quote on, yeah. But stuff like, oh, having like hundreds of NPCs, you know? Okay, this is hard. There's like no piece of hardware capable of having like... Like a lot of NPCs doing their own thing, like having their own routines. Oh god. Anyways. It has a Wilhelm scream, that's great. How do you license that, by the way? How much does that cost? Is that- is that free to use? Oh my god, yeah, this part, I could not- I cannot do. <laughs> you know, for the sake of content, so you can watch me suffer, I'll go through this- through this a few more times. I can't go on the top there because it will kill me. But yeah, once you make a game, you'll realize how, how difficult it is. It is no joke. Oh my god, I beat it! <sighs> Wait, did I beat that already? Was that on level 26? Was it this one? Mm, oh, I beat this one already. It was not that one. That one was very frustrating, though. Okay, god dang it, dude. So, if you know something about me, I don't like swearing. But this game makes me want to swear sometimes. We're crying out loud. <laughs> I'm playing on keyboard. I'm playing one-handed right now. Uh, the controls feel pretty good. No, 
I believe there is a secret on that side, but that's not where we need to go. Okay. Eleven seconds? How the heck did I beat it so quickly? Alright, this part I didn't understand what was going on. I feel like the story is, is on drugs sometimes. So lately I've been sleeping very late and I feel like my brain is slowly dying because uh, sometimes I can't form coherent sentences. I feel like I'm stroking out sometimes. Yeah, the artwork is whatever. Some parts are, I think, charming. Other parts are a little bit... This part is the part that I rage quit on, I think. There are a lot of difficult jumps to make. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm doing worse. Frick! <laughs> You have to do a double switch to get the blue out of the way. Is there a way to make both of them disappear? Obviously not. I know the answer to that and I don't know why I bother asking that question. I feel like I didn't even touch a Spikester. The music here, this is where I turned the music off because it, it was a little distracting. Don't get me wrong, I think it's well done and I like it. But when I'm trying to concentrate, I, I don't want to hear it. Oh my, I'm getting tilted now. <laughs> no, <laughs> please. Okay. Oh my god, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer. See, this one is hard because I have to jump, swap, and then swap again. So, let me see if I can. 
frick? <laughs> Screw you, game. Screw you. Now I'm tilted. It's like, if I see this video back again, I'm gonna be like, oh, it's so obvious what I was doing wrong. But right now, when you're in the moment of it, the thick of it, you don't really notice it. Okay, let me see if I can. <laughs> Dude. Yo, all right, I think I'm gonna quit for the sake of my mental health, all right? All right, we gotta quit. <laughs> all right. This seems to be like the first quote unquote area and then there's probably more. So I think this game is pretty difficult. Um, is it like impossible? No, it's just gonna take you, you know, a few tries to beat some of these levels. Maybe many tries, who knows? For me, it's gonna be many tries, but yeah. Uh, I'm having fun with it. But it's not something I want to play when I'm looking for a relaxing time, you know? It's it's kind of frustrating. But if you if that doesn't bother you, if you're looking for something difficult and challenging, this game took me by surprise. I reviewed uh I wanna say review, I previewed, I covered. Like I think 160 games in 2020. I haven't reviewed as much in 2021. I'm trying to make more guys and etc. But yeah, this is by far one of the hardest games I've played. Uh, there are a lot of games, well, mostly because I, I played the other genres more and they're not, they're not focusing on giving a challenge. This one took me by surprise. And that says something. Anyways, the game is Heike, once again, developed by Richard Hornig, published by Application Systems Heidelberg, and it was released onto the PC. And the MSRP is $9.99. I'm gonna call it there. I hopefully give you guys an idea what the game is like and hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and seeing out there. And I'll catch you guys next time.